Hey friends, CNode here, Christian Rivera, INTP, digital producer. I do photo, video, graphic design, and audio production. Today I wanted to talk about INTPs and when to take action. When is it appropriate for INTPs to take action? And uh, there are really two answers to this. One is all the time, and <laughs> the other is when we're so fine slicing, we begin to deduce things to so many different uh, angles that it becomes kind of absurd. And I think you know what I'm talking about. This is one of those topics that if you're an INTP watching this, I think you're going to know what I mean. And I can kind of speak in abstract terms a little bit more to sort of illustrate what I'm trying to say. I'm trying to like frame myself <laughs> because there's no desk behind me anymore. So uh, this is more interesting than this. Look, it's empty. <laughs> so that's why I'm over here talking this way. So I've been thinking about this for myself because I've been realizing that when I get stressed out and when I am working on so many different projects that uh, it becomes a little bit absurd to continue to slice down these projects into, I, I, start to, I start to spread thin as opposed to going forward. And I think, I think you as an INTP understand this. There are a lot of memes out there that sort of talk about INTPs starting a whole bunch of new projects and not finishing them. And I think, you know, as a TP, as an NP really, well, that's sort of our natural speed. Like we're more of the beginners of projects and then, you know, J types are a little bit better at finishing projects. So one of the ways that we can start to take action is get some sort of FJ or TJ buddy to be a part of your project with you. That means collaborating with them so that you can get excited about your ideas and then you could potentially work with them so that they can take it and move it forward and get it to the finish line or at least give you advice have a mentor or someone who is an fj or tj type to speak with you especially an nj or um, an nfj or an ntj to help you sort of work through the final products or at least get you to the next point of a project and you can tell them, hey, this is what I've been thinking about. This is what I've been working through. This is like all of the deduction and all the little pieces of what it is that I've been thinking about and working on. And even my partner, who is an ENFP, she's got TE as her, her tertiary in her cognitive function stack. She will often identify and be able to see, see what I've been sort of mulling on and working through and trying to figure out and say, well, it seems like what you have to do is this next. You have to do this thing in order to take it forward. And I think as INTPs, we can struggle with knowing when to take action to move forward as opposed to when to start a new thing to, to be lateral, right? We can start all sorts of new ideas. And I, I'm not saying this to encourage you from doing that. We should definitely play with all sorts of different ideas and see which ones are kind of latching on to things. But I think knowing when to take action is when something is kind of working or clicking or there's something that is resonating with you and your audience, depending on what it is you're trying to do, that can give you a sense of wanting to move forward with it. Because there's another aspect of it is like, when it feels scary is probably when you need to figure out a way to move forward with it, right? When it feels like, okay, this is gonna be really hard. This is something that's gonna take some extra effort. This is something where I feel like I've hit a wall and then because you've hit a wall, you find yourself just starting new things instead, right? That's the point when you need to take action to either get a mentor or find some way to move forward so that you can actually make this project something meaningful as opposed to just casting it aside and having it be another one of those endless projects that, you know, we, we start a, a cavalcade of projects and don't do anything with it, right? So that's sort of like the double-edged sword of TI and NE, right? We like to take action. So that means that if we are stuck, then we are gonna take action on a completely new idea so that we can keep taking action and it feels good to take action, but we're just taking action on something else. So we get a lot of things that are somewhat started and not anything that's actually meaningful and long-term and, and has depth to it. Like for me, making these videos and starting Cosmic Calibration and making this course, like I'm hitting walls in terms of like the type of content I wanna make and how do I go forward with this? So I consult with Molly, my partner, my ENFP partner, 
she helps me figure out, okay, well, you know, if this is working in this way, you can take it to this level and try this next thing, right? So she'll give me some action steps. So, you know, maybe getting a TJ in your life or an FP even, someone who has TE in their stack can really help you move forward. Or someone who has NI in their stack can help you see the future implications of how you can take this idea and move it forward. And so as an INTP, we feel like we have to rely on ourselves often. And I think really the step is to figure out a way to combine your abilities with someone else's. There's a reason that cognitive functions are very different in every single person. Like the cognitive functions being completely different is the reason why we're social creatures. We need to rely on each other. And I know it's hard as an INTP to do that, but we want to just be our own person and do our own thing and, and be by ourselves and play video games and not bother, right? I know those are cliches, but plenty of us feel that way. So what we really need to do is strategically find the right people in our lives that are going to complement us. Find TE people, find FI people, find people that are gonna help you resonate more, uh, more deeply, <laughs> a little bit deeper on the scope of what it is that you're trying to do, and really, really give it some meaning, give it some depth, give it something else so that you can take it forward and be able to kind of ascend past this wall. And then once you get past through the machete, the br uh, you machete through the brush, there's a whole new world that opens up and then you can use your T-I-N-E in the next level of what it is that you're trying to do, right? So breaking through that wall is what's gonna help you to be able to move forward. So again, if you're stuck and you get to the point where you feel like, okay, this is hard, this is difficult, I wanna be able to just start new projects instead of going forward, that's the point where you need to consult with someone or talk to a friend or find an, uh, an FP or a TJ in your life that's going to complement you and help you find a way to move this idea forward or even tell you if this idea is not worth moving forward with, right? Instead of just leaving it dormant and stagnant and not doing anything and collecting dust. Right? So hopefully that helps you out as an INTP to be able to war learn when you need to take action. This has been incredibly helpful for me, something that Molly noticed in me recently, that she's like, when you get stressed out or when you're like not sure about a project, you just start making new things. And that is very, very true. So I need to figure out if this current thing I'm working on is worth any bit of salt and I can take it forward. And usually that's through discussing it with her. So. Find a Molly in your life or someone to that effect who is going to be willing to have you bounce those ideas off of them uh, and you know help you move forward. So I appreciate you guys. There's a link to Cosmic Calibration below, bit.ly slash Cosmic INTP. It is a course that helps INTPs to unlock their extroverted intuition, to connect with themselves, connect with the universe, and be able to find a greater sense of purpose as an INTP. I want INTPs to unlock their superpowers and go forth and not live in these stereotypes and memes and be stuck in the same old patterns, right? <clears throat> Often we make jokes about the places that we're stuck in because we don't know how to move forward. So I actually wanna help INTPs to be able to move forward and not just perpetuate the same old chaotic motion over and over again. Let's, 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 put our ideas out into the world, let's move forward and make good things happen. So Cosmic INTP, uh, bit.ly slash Cosmic INTP, all lowercase, or just click the link below to consider Cosmic Calibration in your life. So I've been C-Note, thank you for listening and being here. Uh, dopamine is the channel and the show. Like, subscribe, all of that good stuff. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. See ya.